Hey, welcome to our next modern lesson. We're going to take a look at a app, an app for iPhone right now. I think Android is coming soon, but this app is called Photostats, uh, the Photostats app, and it's extremely useful and a lot of fun. Uh, I'd strongly recommend you check it out. It's really the first infographic creator for the iPhone um, using your photography that you take. So if you use your phone, all the time to take photos, whether you're at a concert or just out having fun. Really, this is a great app to try out. It's a dollar, uh, a US dollar, so it'll cost you a little bit. But other than that, it's a lot of fun. You can check out the samples that they have here of when you take your photos and where you take your photos. And it has lots of fun infographic-y visual elements. Uh, there's a lot of people who have been enjoying it right there, as you can see. Um, you can download it right from the iTunes store and they just came out with a new version that fixed a couple bugs I noticed but uh, really it's just one of the best ways to create infographics using your own personal information a lot of times you have to go out and find the information yourself but for the Photostats app it's a great way for you to make something personal and share it with your family or throw it up on Facebook um, but really where this comes to shine is for businesses. If you run a business of any kind and use photos a lot, so I know someone who runs a clothing company and uses Instagram a lot. So what you could do is take all the photos that you have taken of your various items and then post them uh, to your Facebook and then afterwards create an infographic of all that good stuff. And then you'd really be able to show off all the cool stuff that you're doing. So you can show off where you're taking all these photos, uh, what kind of photos you like to take, and it just gives you a new bit of insight into your photos. It's a lot of fun. Uh, I definitely recommend checking it out. It's not the most robust way to make an infographic, but it's definitely a fun way to do so. I hope you enjoy and look forward to seeing you on the next Modern Lesson.